Hi, Franco Cavallari coming to you from Biologic Pharma Medical to talk to you today about cold plunge. And we've mentioned this on several posts in the past. I'm getting more questions about cold plunge and why. Why immerse yourself in cold? I mean, there's a biological activity that does occur that induces restoration. And you know we have these proteins in the body that respond to shock. We have heat shock proteins and cold shock proteins, which do very similar things. Basically, what they do is allow you to cope with extreme changes in temperature as a survival mechanism. So they're heightening various aspects of your metabolism, of your brain to improve attention, improve cognition, improve metabolism and prepare you for fight or flight. You can deal with the stress that's imposed on you. In fact, you know, we talk about these coping mechanisms all the time. Whether you put physical load on your body through exercise to induce recovery and restoration of the metabolism, including insulin function, including brown fat activation for thermogenic activity. These things all happen with cold plunge as you immerse yourself in the stressful environment to heighten neurological plasticity, neurotransmitter activity, dopamine production, and it creates focus and attention and then trains your body to stay in that mode and restore and recover. Great for athletes. You know, in the past, it was thought athletes should never actually go into cold plunge before training, before activity, because that can stiffen you up. And in some cases it may, you just have to warm up and get ready to go again. But post-training, post-activity, cold plunge is amazing, activating cold shock proteins and sirtuin proteins that we've talked about. Now, how does this relate to what we're doing in the lab? We study these proteins. We study heat shock protein, cold shock protein, sirtuin proteins that are activated with these stresses that are imposed on you to restore and recover. And then we look at how we can contribute to that activation through other means. And we do recognize that thermobutyrate, thermogallate, and a lot of the compounds we're working with, including glyvia in some aspects, and we'll talk about that later, about the mechanisms, affect restoration, recovery, appetite control, and focus. If you're an athlete, mental focus, mental conditioning, and mental stamina, critically important. I mean, you start losing your game, your stamina starts running out because the brain can't focus. Forget the physicality. Physicality is critically important because you want that conditioning. But if you're in the game, whether it's basketball, it's pool, whether it's soccer, football, your brain has to stay in full focus and full conditioning. And we can help you do that. Thermobutyrate does that, thermogallate does that by activating many of the proteins, including proteins similar to cold shock protein, heat shock protein that help you cope with stress, stay focused and in the game.